You're now live. Let's Are we go. Live? Yeah. All right. Welcome everybody to our first ever live stream, Instagram Live, Saturday morning, June the fifth, two thousand twenty-one. For those who don't know, my name is Marcus Harris. I'm the founder, board chair, director of the Marcus Harris Foundation, which is the parent company of Maple Food Express. Maple Food Express is the program through which we take out free groceries, kids' books, clothing, computers, all kinds of supplies to families who live in food insecure neighborhoods all throughout Southeast and East Raleigh. We have been doing this since November of last year, so we're into our sixth month and things are going stronger and better than ever. Let me do some introductions here. First and foremost, the one who needs no introduction. Tell everybody your name. Hi, I'm Christopher Harris. Christopher Harris, <laughs> and who are you to this program? <laughs> Besides me, myself. I don't know. <laughs> Christopher Harris is one of the most important people in this program because he's out here almost every Saturday. He is helping us organize the food before we even come out here, put together the books, get everything together, and then when we come out here, Chris also helps hand off the books to the volunteers and the bags of groceries and supplies to the volunteers. Um, the way this works is we are here. I mean, you can probably scan around the parking lot. I will scan. We're in the parking lot of the food line on North Raleigh Boulevard at the northern part of Southeast Raleigh. This is where we meet on Saturday mornings. Typically, we have a van that has all of the supplies in them, the grocery bags, the kids, the books, anything else going on to the families. We wait here for the volunteers to come. They come in shifts, and all volunteers come out, pick up the supplies for the assigned routes they have, and then they do all the deliveries, taking the food and supplies out to the families. Right now, we do contactless deliveries for everybody's safety, and so we don't actually interact with the families who are inside their homes. Typically, we leave the food on their front porch or on a piece of furniture outside their front door. And then we call and text them and let them know the food is there. Uh, they may want to get it from us at the door and that's fine, but we try to reduce contact just to make sure because we have a lot of families who are older, immunocompromised, and we don't want to expose them to things that we don't need to. Um, typically, when we first started, we were taking out about, I would say maybe 500 to 1,000 pounds of food a week and we are taking it to maybe about 50 to 100 folks a week and that was in november of 2020. now we are taking out 2,000 plus pounds of food every week we serve about 500 people a week about 80 different families and that's just in six months and i just want to take a quick moment to thank all of our donors and all of our supporters because they are the ones who made this possible we have a great partnership with Interfaith Food Show through which we can get food from places like Whole Foods and Target and Walmart and Fresh Market, which has allowed us to have a lot more food to give to the families. We also have great partnerships with Wake Up and Read, who provides us with all the great kids books that we get every week. And so all these books come from Wake Up and Read. Each bag has five kids books. They are age appropriate from ages zero all the way up to age 12. And so every week we take out at this point about 270 books and give them to the kids and the different families. Thanks to Wake Up and Read. We also have a great partnership with Note in the Pocket. Note in the Pocket is an incredible nonprofit organization based in Raleigh that provides free clothing to families who don't have it. And so today we actually have six bundles of clothing going to one of our families and this is mostly for the kids you can come close maybe so they've got different things in here like shirts pants they've got socks they've got underwear and each bundle has about two weeks worth of clothes for the families and so we've actually given out multiple bundles of clothes since we started doing that as well we also have a partnership with the Cramden Institute which is based in Durham Cramden provides free computers to kids who don't have them. And so to help bridge the digital divide, we partner with them to give free computers to the kids and the families that we serve who don't have them. And so far, we've given out over 40 computers to kids. And that's just in the past two months because that partnership is kind of new. But that helps us attack food insecurity in a different kind of way besides just food because we're also helping to bridge the digital divide for the families who don't have access to computers and internet at home. So this program, does a lot more than just take out food every week. And um, 
whenever I talk to folks who say, so you guys just like Meals on Wheels, or you guys just take out food every week, and I always say, well, it's a little bit more detailed than that, because we're really trying to do more than just end hunger. We're trying to lift families out of food insecurity. Doing that by tackling the problem at its roots and addressing different causes besides just hunger. So by taking out free clothing, by taking out free kids books and helping to boost juvenile literacy rates, by taking out free computers, we also have a social work team. And I joke with these guys all the time because I tell them you guys are the unknown heroes behind the program. We do all this every week and on Saturday mornings we come out and we take out the food and we take out the supplies. But every day, our social work team members build relationships with the families we serve and they work with them one-on-one -on -one to identify the specific areas that they have extra needs in. So if they need help with employment, getting a better education, getting a better place to stay, if they have kids they need help with, if they have seniors in their families they need help with. The social work team does all that work on a weekly, daily basis, helping them out in other ways besides just food. And that way we can really do more to provide more impactful support for the families that we're trying to help. One quick story. We have a new, we have a registrant uh, who signed up a couple of months ago. Her name is Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson is an elderly lady, uh, she's in her 80s, and she lives alone. When she signed up, the social work team reached out to her and found out that she has chemotherapy appointments, but she couldn't make all of her appointments because she was having transportation issues. And so, through our connections with Wake County government, we got her signed up with Medicaid, which I don't even know this, but Medicaid provides free transportation to all your doctor's appointments. So by her getting Medicaid, she now gets free transportation to all her appointments. She doesn't have to miss chemotherapy. So that's, that's the kind of work we do, besides just taking out food. Stuff like that every day makes a huge difference. And again, I love the social support team. I love our volunteers. Amy, behind the camera, has been with us from the beginning. We got two that just showed up. Jan and Steve, been with us from the beginning. And they are what make this program work. Dan, Steve! Hey! You wanna say hey to the folks? We're live streaming. I know, I saw the big Instagram. <laughs> Dan and Steve, morning. two Very incredible volunteers. Yep. All right, that's up Easy opportunity to serve your community. Really easy. And Marcus is really organized.
So this is Amy here, and I'm a volunteer, and I just love the way this organization just is run so efficiently. If you look at the boxes here, each bag is labeled with the families that the groceries will go to. You'll also see baggies full of books for the appropriate ages in those families. They give you um, a schedule with all the routes to go, and they're all so organized that you just pop them into your GPS and you're on the way, very efficiently run. And the groceries are healthy, and they're going to people who really need them. How are you? I'm doing Instagram live so people can see what's happening. How'd your route go last week? It was good. Good. You had a lot of groceries yeah. to deliver. Hey, Cameron. Good. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Did you want to pull a little closer? Make it yeah. easier. What route are you this time? Do you know? Uh, B. B? Yeah. Awesome. And I think Chris is ready to go up there. He's got his books ready for you. Thank you. Absolutely. You want to talk us through it? Typically in the bag, we have nutrient-dense items like produce, it includes carrots, other vegetables. Today we've got a bag of bananas. This has got some meat in this bag. This family's getting some chicken breast. And then we also have some bread items. This one's getting some pasta. We got some cookies in here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but that's going in there too. Looks like kind of a pita bread type thing. Oh, nice. Okay. So usually the bags are about 20 to 25 pounds. And they've got the kinds of items the families need to make healthy meals at home. All right, awesome. here you go, Cameron. These are all yours. Okay. family's name on it and then the route the volunteer takes this is route b to the top left corner so that's how we keep everything mm -hmm. organized okay. there you go. Cameron, we got 
have some extra bags in case you need them, just in case. Okay. Okay. That's it for Pete. But she's also going to take out the clothing bundles for some chicken. We'll get those to her. It's on your sheet, okay. but you got some clothing bundles for Miss Pachuca okay. from Note in the Pocket, and it's six of them. So these are all just clothes for the kids. Picture camera? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Thank you. Sorry, Cameron. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. All right. Thanks a lot, Cameron. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Let me know if you got any problems. Okay. So, how do you find your volunteers? They find us. So, typically, we have spread the word through our partners in the Lake County government who already work with the kinds of families that we are trying to help. Mm -hmm. And then they have advocates that work on their behalf, so they spread the word. Gotcha. But we also have listings on Activate Good. We got a lot of volunteers from Activate Good. Yeah. Who have signed up for shifts that way. We also use social media. Uh, and then good old-fashioned word of mouth. The volunteers we already have go tell their friends and family who then come out. As a matter of fact, that's happened today. Alex, who's a member of our PR team, is coming to do a route. And she got three of her friends to come do routes, too. So I'm fine. They're coming as one big group in about 15, 20 minutes. Awesome. And how did you meet Cameron? Do you want to tell her story? So the story with Cameron, Publix gave us a corporate gift card to use to purchase some of the items for the families. And I went to Publix one night on Leesville Road in Raleigh to get some of the items. And I had this basket full of stuff. And when I went to the checkout, Cameron was working the checkout register. And so she asked me if it was all for me. I said, no. But <laughs> I told her about the program and that we're using the food to help feed families who are food insecure. And so she wanted to get involved. Next thing you know, she signs with us a volunteer. Right. And her first time with us was last week. She came back uh, this week with another route. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Connections everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. Very now, good. how did Amy get involved with us? Can you put the camera I think on? it was with Activate Good. I have no idea how you do that. <laughs> anyway. got a button or something to press. Uh, we're like granddaddy and Here I am. Thank I think you. it was with Activate Good. And See? yeah, and then I signed up and was interested and just kept going. Oh. It's so it's run so well. That's what kept me going. That I could see that you were using um, your time, partnerships, money, everything so effectively that I wanted to be a part of it. Speaking of which, for those who don't know, we recently did a video, so we're doing a video series. <laughs> I'm trying to switch it around. <laughs> volunteers, <laughs> yeah. And Amy was the first one, right? And so, if you go to our YouTube channel, we just uploaded a video about Amy. It's a quick little about minute long video, but she's talking about why she got involved, and it's got some good footage of her helping out behind the scenes. So, I don't know. We don't have a customized URL, but if you go to YouTube, look up Marcus Harris Foundation. You'll come to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And you see Amy's smiling face. There you go. There you go. <laughs> when we first started this program, um, our goal was to serve maybe about three, 4,000 people. And six months in, I think we've already passed 5,000. Wow. So we've really they seen our expectations. Um, also, we just passed 20,000 pounds of food that we've given out. Uh, as far as kids' books, I think we're getting close to giving out. Well, we have passed over 2,000 kids' books given out to the kids so the impact can't really be measured just in numbers it's really in the stories like Ms. Johnson's story about getting Medicaid and transportation Ms. Copeland's story so Ms. Copeland has been getting support from us from the beginning she lives in an apartment complex on Coleman Street not that far from here 
during the school year, she was watching all the kids in her apartment complex for virtual learning so their parents could go to work. So she had up to 20 to 25 kids with her on, a, on a regular basis. The kids were given Chromebooks by the school system to do their work at home, but they kept malfunctioning, losing the connection, so the kids were falling behind. So she told us she could use some help with computers. We got her 16 computers through the Cramden Institute Partnership. And ever since we did that, one of the kids, two of the kids who got computers made the honor roll for the first time. Wow, that is very so impressive. you can't measure the impact just in numbers. Absolutely. All around the things that we do. Why do I feel like I'm in a used car commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Amaya, how's it going? Pretty good. You got it? Oh no, it's been the same. I just been covering it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the, the same is that same. You're looking great. Good morning. Thanks again. Hey, what's happening? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to go Yeah. first started doing this we were taking out maybe maybe 20 bags of groceries 
Now we got well over 70, going on 80. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. these two. That's it. I'll make sure. And, all right, can we just have to make sure? Yeah. Yo, um, Hi, how are you? Good morning. I'm doing Instagram Live. Oh, nice. Yep. As you cool. <laughs> How was camping last week for you? It was awesome. It turned out to be a beautiful weekend. We were nervous about the rain, but we got very lucky. Very good. Okay. Very good. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good. Are you excited for summer vacation? Yeah. You get a little bit, right? Okay. You get a lot of it, actually. <laughs> you get a little bit. Yeah. I didn't see any more tickets. Yeah, All right, you're straight. All right, thank you so much, Morgan. Thank you. Oh, let's get your picture. How much we got? Hey, Chris. Chris, baby, your picture. Come on, Chris. She's not going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Good stuff. Thanks a lot, Lisa. All right. No I appreciate problem. it. No All, All right. right. Yeah. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. All right, let's get Miss Sheen. Okay. What's happening, Miss Sheen? Nothing. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Oh, uh, it's going fast. Wow, okay. So she's not late. <laughs> <laughs> Alex! What's happening? I'm I. I. Alright, so you can walk this one. Good job. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Good. Everybody. How are you? Good. Hi. Whoa, two bagger. Amazing. We got more volunteers showing up. A lot of people. <laughs> I caught it, man. I caught it. <laughs> we got it, though. All right, so these are G's. Yeah, those are Miss Yep. Yeah. Oh, careful. That bag is coming up in there. Awesome. Yeah. Right? G's. We got some more for Alex. Are all of you helping Alex? No, we are um, H. H. Got it.
You've got a lot of groceries today. <laughs> you really do. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. I think that's all I see. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's your last one. Yeah, that should be. Can I get a picture of you before you leave? Yes. Awesome, thank you. I don't mind the longer route, more, more, that's great. I know, it's awesome. All right. There we go. Let me get a couple. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Bye. Enjoy your summer. Yes, you too. Thank you. Have a Marcus. Day. Marcus. Bye, buddy. <laughs> He's, He's focused. Bye. He is so focused. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Hey, you looking for a good one? Well, just leave. Okay, so I think you've got all the answers. Okay, cool. Are you almost done? I think so. Wow, you've got a lot. I know. I got a lot of books today. That's awesome. I know it is. Very good. Let me can Alex, can I get a picture of you? Are you done packing up? Um, I might be. Okay, let me grab a picture real quick. Okay. Thank you. Awesome, you're good. Hey. What letter are y'all? It's looking good, Chris. What do you think? <laughs> this is an E. There's another D for Alex. Another D? Yes. Perfect. Here you go. Uh huh. All right. These are all F's. Is there anything else for E? There's an E for a book. No? I think that's it. Okay. But can you check this sheet just to make sure you got everything? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. These are all Fs. That's me and you, bud. Yep, You've got a go. huge route. Yeah, we're going to do a There's route. a G over there? Yeah. Yeah, there's a G back here. So G hasn't shown yet? Yeah, there's no G. It's on my phone. G is, let's see, we have N, Y, yeah, G hasn't come yet. Okay. Yeah, there should be. You want to go grab your pictures real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Let me just make sure. So you guys got everything? We have a G, too. Oh, you got a G? Oh, there you go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so that's back here. Perfect. Another one, and then you got some um, kids books. There's a G up here. Somebody wants to grab it. Okay. It's against the van wall over there okay. in front of Chris. You guys have so much. So many books. <laughs> so many books. That's awesome though. I love how you fit everything in. That's amazing. <laughs> Hey guys, you mind if we get a picture of you standing in front of the um yeah. the bag stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna they're gonna be like there's only three bags. <laughs> but there's there's more in the back seat, right? <laughs> you just had to work around everything. <laughs>
It's a huge great picture. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thank Good you. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Oh, Alex. Yeah. She's gonna take over. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take over the last room, right? Okay, yeah. How do we How do we transfer it to you? So I'm gonna have to have the password. And, but. Um, does she have it? Did she send it to you? Uh-uh, she hasn't sent it to me yet. I think it's M-H-L-21 star star. Alright, let me try it really quick. Okay. Hey, Chris. So how does it feel to have the van almost empty and you're ready to go? Are you ready to go deliver? Yeah. What do you like most about delivering? Yeah, they're getting a lot of great stuff. And I know you love to read, right? Yeah. So it's really important that they get books. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's your favorite book right now? Uh, you, you don't have a favorite right now? Okay, because I know you love to read. But it is great to see that they're getting all these books yeah. and groceries. That's awesome. And you're a big help, aren't you? Yeah. Is it hard to help here? Not really. What do you think you have to have to help here? It doesn't take much, does it? You just gotta show up and help yeah. deliver groceries. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Give me that big million dollar smile again. There you go. All right, see you later. I think our cars are ready to go. Volunteers ready? Yeah. I'll let you take it. All right, so what's she, what's she supposed to do? Um, 